y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina, and today I wanted to share some body positivity with you guys. I get so many questions about loose skin, being afraid to lose weight due to having loose skin or getting loose skin, and I wanna share my experiences of losing that 108 pounds, keeping it off 12 years, and ways that you can motivate yourself and get through this process simply and seamlessly. First off, let's be 100% real. Major weight gain and major weight loss come with big consequences, be it positive or negative. So learn to accept that and love the body that you have. Loose skin for some people usually comes from losing 50 pounds or more. Keep in mind that genetics and age play a major part in that. Loose skin can also come about by the method you use in weight loss. That could be by surgery or by natural means. But no matter what your journey, make sure that you're not too hard on yourself. You need to have that body positivity. Love yourself. Know that your journey is not going to be anybody else's. What you're doing right now is bettering yourself. No matter what the outcome, you're becoming more healthy. I want to make sure that y'all know that if I could do it, then you can definitely do it. Hopefully today I'm able to leave you guys with a lot of ideas, giving you the specific things that I did during and after my weight loss in order to keep my skin in tip top shape and ensure I got the Titan physique that I wanted. So sit back and relax and let's get into this. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads and also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when I so upload. the first thing I'm gonna tell Tell you I definitely did not lose the weight too quickly your body needs proper time to contract and also to renew the skin cells that are rejuvenating over time to accommodate for your new body you don't want to pop up and be somebody different and it doesn't have time to accommodate for the differences do slow and gradual weight loss so I used to get little comments on my fitness videos back in the day they said things like dang it took you a year to lose like a hundred pounds I lost like a hundred pounds in five minutes first off and secondly, yep, it took me about 10 to 12 months to fully lose the weight and really learn how to treat the body and what it was changing into. What I can also say is your girl done kept it off 12 years, so obviously I did something correctly. Can you say the same random and anonymous commenter with the cat picture for your profile? I'll wait. I rest my case. The elasticity in our skin is based on our genetics, body size, and age. So you have to be very careful with how you treat the retraction and change of your body. And that's why people who have weight loss surgery often have to be told about this. I aimed for about two to four pounds of weight loss per week. I realized that this was not a race, it was a lifestyle change. During weight loss, you must remember to treat your body well. You guys have seen me dry brushing, exfoliating, doing all of that and taking care of my body. Your body needs that good blood circulation in order to get better cell rejuvenation. While we lose weight, your body is actually forming a new memory. It's taking proper time to change and getting used to that new body that you're bringing in. Besides showing you guys the benefits of a great exfoliation technique with all natural exfoliators throughout the years, I've also shown you guys my Spin for Perfect Skin, which I love wet or dry yes I use it in the shower but I also use it outside and it's perfect for things like stretch marks loose skin making sure that you tighten up the skin and basically all I do is go through all my body extremities my arms my legs my stomach everything and run over it about 10 times brushing upwards toward the heart you're gonna keep all the brushing going towards the center I run over every part of the body about 10 separate times and then I'm done and I do that about two to three times a week and I know Notice that it helps to keep my skin tight and also helps it glow. Check my links down below to get 70% off of the Spin for Perfect Skin and also I'm giving one away. So check the information section for all the instructions on this super quick contest. Massaging the body is also amazing because it adds added moisturization and also because of the massaging motion into the skin, it helps to plump it up and keep it more supple. Age, body type, and genetics have to be considered in this journey. And that's why you can see two different people on the same diet losing weight in the same very way. However, they're getting different results, their bodies look different, and they might be losing weight at a different rate. Some younger people might find it easier to snap back because they have quicker cell renewal and cell growth. But then you have some older people who might find it easier to snap back because they
they have amazing genetics. So no matter your size, your genetics, and your age, be very realistic about the results you might get. That's gonna keep you motivated. It's also gonna keep you successful and interested in your journey. I don't want you to get discouraged because of comparing yourself to other people. Just be kind to yourself and know that you have what you have. You're gonna work with what you got and you're gonna get to where you're going. The next thing is to hydrate. You know I tell y'all, don't walk around here dry and thirsty for many reasons. But basically, water adds to the stretchiness of our skin. Anything that's too dry has a hard time stretching and usually just wrinkles and shrivels up. I drink anywhere from 96 ounces to a gallon of water a day and I did that throughout my weight loss and even after. The next thing everybody don't wanna fool with me on, but I'm gonna hit you with it anyway. You must get a balanced diet that supports skin elasticity overall. Foods rich in protein, collagen, elastin, and antioxidants should be at the top of your list for some bomb skin elasticity. Crash diets are gonna be a no-no because they're never going to give you all of that. I've shown you guys a million and one smoothie options that give you all of these added benefits of having the nutrients that you need daily, especially for skin elasticity, skin rejuvenation, and healthy cell growth. Besides my leafy green smoothies, I also love to show you guys my Yay Organics juice powders, which are all natural and organic, which help with hair, skin, nails, also your weight, and all of that. And I love using my blender bottle, which also charges my phone, which is amazing for just getting all those nutrients in daily. So check the links below and get your own blender bottle and check out their juices. Oh, it is so tempting with all the fad diets and everything else out there to lose weight without exercising. But if you don't do it, you might have a little bit more time for some jingle jaggle and sagging. About 30 to 45 minutes of cardio a day is great because it helps you to burn fat. Resistance training helps to tighten the body overall. It not only helps to tighten up the skin on the body, but it also helps to fill looser areas with lean muscle. My rule of thumb is to add in two to three days of resistance training on top of my cardio workouts. On those days, I might do legs, arms, my midsection. I did that throughout my weight loss journey and I continue to do it to this day. This could totally help you avoid a lot of loose skin and also help to reshape your body over time. The next thing is to make sure you're taking care of your skin through using like a multivitamin. I used a multivitamin and I have for years. Y'all know I've always been into my prenatal vitamins. You want to make sure that you check with your doctor before you start a multivitamin regimen. And no matter the multivitamin that you choose to take, you want to make sure that the one that you have is high in things like vitamin C, E, A, K, B complex, selenium, and copper. These are directly linked to helping enhance the elasticity of the skin. Now the next thing is while I know that the sun is awesome for us and we can get a lot of good vitamins from it and get some good benefits, you also don't wanna be caught out like a raisin in the sun. You don't wanna be out there too long without some type of protection. The sun can aid in drying out the skin, which means that the elasticity will be depleted and you'll lose hydration. Collagen creams are amazing during this time of weight loss because they really help again with directly helping with that elasticity of the skin, the stretching and the smoothing of the skin as well. Make sure that you seal in the moisture of your skin with a good essential oil or even castor oil. Avoid anything that has sulfates in it, especially body washes. Those can really dry and deplete the skin of its moisture. Now finally, I'm gonna get all flowery on y'all. Be kind to yourself. If you do have excess skin, when you get done with the weight loss process, opt to think about the possibility of having surgery or skin removal. I didn't have it done. I haven't had anything surgically done to remove any weight from my body. However, if I had to, I would have done it. It's okay to have to do certain things to get your body to where you want it to be, especially if you put in a lot of work and time, but you no longer can go any further. If skin removal surgery is what you need to do, then that's okay. Be proud of overall what you've worked for and be proud of what you've gained from this journey. Y'all, I'm so thankful for having y'all here today and hopefully you learned a lot about my journey and how I avoided a lot of the loose skin, but also how to be kind to yourself during this journey and be realistic about your goals and what your outcome might be. Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.